This is a flipped lecture on the Cuban Missile Crisis that occurred during the Cold War in 1962. All right, so to begin with, let's give a little bit of background on Cuba. Now, Cuba had had a dictator named Fulgencio Batista since the 1940s. He was pretty unpopular um, with the masses of Cuban people, and in 1959, a young man named Fidel Castro led the Cuban rebellion to overthrow Batista. Castro promised people freedom, food, etc., um, and was able to take over. But by the 1960s, he had set up a communist dictatorship and had become allies with the Soviet Union. That did not sit well with the United States because Americans feared the Soviet Union would use Cuba as a base to attack the United States and start spreading communism in Latin America. You need to remember that Cuba is very close to the United States, only 90 miles off the coast of Florida. So there was a response by the United States government. Now, President Eisenhower, who had taken over for Truman and was president in the late 1950s, he authorized a secret plan to deal with the threat of communism in Cuba. And he authorized the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States, or the CIA, to train Cuban exiles. These were people who had fled Cuba um, under Castro's rule. And the deal was is that the United States was going to help these exiles plan an invasion of Cuba to try and overthrow um, Castro. Okay, well, um, the plan never came to being while Eisenhower was in office. So Kennedy, when he took over from Eisenhower, um, ended up approving the final plan of the Bay of Pigs, which was a big mistake of his. Um, it started in April of 1961. 1,500 Cuban exiles waited ashore at the Bay of Pigs after being trained by the U.S. military, um, etc., but they were immediately attacked by Castro's forces. The United States did not send any military aid to them. 1,200 of the invaders were captured or killed. It was a huge failure and a huge embarrassment for Kennedy.